My next question pertains to Exhibit M, which is an email dated March 20th um, from Ed to Mr. Shoy. Um, on March 20th, via an email, was your return offer that you wanted a 50-50 split right down the middle of all assets and liabilities, all cash on hand too? My answer should have only been yes. And I should have left it at that, just a simple yes. Just like the, did you get the answer you were looking for? Yes, I did. Thank you. Okay, next question. Um, this offer, which you made, was made close to three years after our separation had taken place and after I had assumed all costs incurred regarding the Medicine Hat property. Is this correct? My answer was correct. But I was too confused to ambush to answer like this. This is not correct that you assumed all costs, Miss Actum. I sent this email, but why should I have to pay for your boyfriend Virgil Sales to live there? Therefore he is paying rent to me. What Virgil Sales pays to me is paid to the home. I pay child support uh, for Kayla too. This covers my half of contributions. I would like to say for the record that you have been in arrears for more than $12,000 in spousal support which you have been refusing to pay. I do not see why I should have to pay anything more. Virgil Sales has been paying that. And then Justice Karen Horner decides to move in on the ambush and she questions me and and uh, listen to this. Yeah, Miss Acton's question is, this is March 20th of 2006, so it's nearly three years after the separation and you've admitted that you've made no payments toward the Medicine Hat House but your, the content of your offer is to request 50% of its value. Is that right? That's me now, I will, yes. Yes, okay. Thank you. My answer at trial was was right, but I was too hindered and ambushed to answer like this. Yes, that is right, and I should not be paying anything because Virgil Sales has been living there, paying rent to me. I pay child support too, so I see no reason to be paying anything more. What I have paid is covered by Virgil Sales paying rent and our daughter is covered through child support. Therefore, I've been making contribution in form of Virgil Sales paying rent to live in my house. Furthermore, why should Virgil Sales not have to pay rent Justice Horner? <clears throat> Let's take it from the top and compare how I, how I actually answered the uh, uh, to exhibit M in a hindered state of mind, ambush state of mind. Let's let, take it from the top for Exhibit M. Just listen to this, and then we'll move on to Exhibit M. Thank you. Um, my next question pertains to Exhibit M, which is an email dated March 20th um, from Ed to Mr. Shoy. Um, on March 20th, via an email, was your return offer that you wanted a 50-50 split right down the middle of all assets and liabilities, all cash on hand too? I feel, yes, I feel that that should be, uh, that should go back to the point of when we first separated. That should, that we should split it right 50 50 middle. I should, I should get whatever, whatever appreciation on a, on a house that I could have owned or owned by myself. And basically, the, these uh, legal proceedings have prevented me from doing so, and you holding on to my. All my activity is preventing me from, from, from living in a house that I own. Except I own a house that I can't live in. All my left activity is tied up in that. So it's so much more, more so much today if you would have, if, if things would have been split up, you would have decided to sell the house, sell both, sell our houses and have everything split up 50 50 in the middle. First thing you can, today I would have.
We're, no, we're looking at Exhibit M, which is March 20th, 2006. Oh, M. 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 We're still looking at M, right, Ms. Acton? Yes. Yeah. Yes, that's, that's the email. Yeah, Ms. Acton's question is, this is March 20th of 2006, so it's nearly three years after the separation, mm -hmm. and you've admitted that you've made no payments toward the Medicine Hat House, but you, the content of your offer is to request 50% of its value. Is that right? That's the email I wrote, yes. Yes, okay. 